Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Let's go sell some drugs to prostitutes and low lives right here on GTA Vice City. So I'm hoping to God that this is actually going to work today because the last time we had a valiant struggle of monumental proportions trying to get this mission to work without the game crashing. So today, cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your dicks and your balls and we'll see if we can get the damn thing done. And if you're wondering how one goes about crossing oh, yeah, their balls and their dicks, providing that they have more than one, well, sometimes you just gotta let physics take over. So that's what's going on. I would've filmed this yesterday, actually, but I had a really fucking shitty day, and so I just wasn't feeling it. So uh, now I get to tell you all about it, because that is my life, and let's turn the mission on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. So we gotta, we gotta deal out 50 of these things. And I need to be really careful about this because we will start attracting the cops in uh, nice heavy amounts if we're not careful. So let's see what happens here. We're going to go to the Ocean Beach, Ocean Drive area, which I'm assuming they're really the same area because Ocean Drive is pretty much right where the beach is. And uh, that's right here. So, all right, let's set up shop right now. The biggest thing is just making sure that as soon as the cop little logo thing pops up that we immediately drive away. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, there's a uh, cop bribe down this little alleyway that's over here, so we can definitely rely on that if we need to. What the, what the hell is this lady? She's selling concessions right now? Hot dogs! Get your fucking hot dogs here since we're not near a baseball stadium! They fired me six months ago, but I didn't want to get rid of the hardware! There's actually not even any food in here! I'm just walking around seeing if anybody will buy anything out of here! Don't worry, I'm actually just really strung out on methamphetamine. Oh god, here we go. I was hoping maybe somebody would put some food in here as a donation that I could sell to somebody else. I mean, it wouldn't be hot or tasty or anything, but I figured why not? I'm just desperate for people to pay attention. Oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, that guy just picked up a bribe, but he's stopping again, and there's a bunch of people just standing right next to his van. I wonder, it just doesn't seem like the right thing here. So, yeah, dude, pretty much what had me all up in arms yesterday is that I think that it might be time to, uh, to retire my car. I mean, it's... I, uh, I went down to, uh, Les Schwab yesterday because my car has been driving really really weird for the last I don't know probably week and a half to two weeks and so I decided to uh, to go have it checked out and uh, the guy so the guy goes and he looks at my car and he's like he's like hey do you think I could uh so you think I could talk to you for a minute about your car because I got I got some things I need to tell you I was like, okay so, uh, what'd you find out? He's like, well, it's like, how long have you been driving your car in this condition? He's like, well, I don't know, probably like 10 days to two weeks, something like that. He's like, well, it's like, I don't know if you're doing anything else today, but it would be in your best interest if you just drove it home after this, because in the condition that it's in, it's pretty much really not safe to drive at all. So, you might want to uh, rethink driving it right now. He's like, unless... Uh-oh. Oh, no, you don't. I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to let you. Not happening. Not fucking happening. Brosephine. Okay. Let's let's find a different place to to do our, our business here. Um, how's about you guys right here? You all look like a nice, savory bunch. So, yeah, he's like, you should probably just drive that thing home. He's like, unless you want to get it all fixed today, but it's going to cost you. I was like, well, what exactly is wrong with everything? He's like, he's like, well, let me tell you. He's like, he's like, pretty much only one of your tires is satisfactory. Oh, my God, there's two different cops right there, and I even finalized the sale. Wow. He's like, you have pretty much um, only one tire that I could say is anything less than awful. He's like, um, one of them separated. The tread is basically gone on another one. Uh, you're driving on a spare on the third one, which it's not in, like, the worst shape ever, but it's not in really good shape either, so you might want to... You might want to look into that at some point. Um, he's like, you said something about 
um, something under your hood being really bad, so I don't really know what the whole thing is there because we don't really look at that stuff, but I, w I imagine that it's probably not going to be good if it's making the amount of noise you're saying. He's like, so, for, you know, a new set of tires and getting, he's like, not to mention that your wheel bearing is pretty much toast. Like, I mean, burnt toast. He's like, yeah, he's like, I mean, absolutely blackened, not any sense of brown on that toast at all. I was like, well, wait just a damn second. I went, I just got, I just got my wheel bearing fixed, like, maybe two months ago, at best. Like, on the same side that you're, that you're telling me. He's like, well, I don't know who you had do that for you, but I would advise, you know, if you have that thing under warranty, go take that damn thing back, like, now. Like, have them see if they can reimburse you, because that thing is messed the hell up. He actually said messed the hell up. And so I was like, well... All right. It's like, so it's going to cost you probably about, probably around like 300 to 340, which I know he was marking it up a little bit because that's just what they do at those places. But I was like, fuck, dude, my car is, is in bad shape. Come on, get in there. Yeah, fuck you guys. Yeah, see, that's one thing that you can do if the cops are hot on your ass. You can just go jump in here and they'll never know. Even though they watched you go in and they watched you come out. <laughs> but they're like, white, just a minute. That thing's a different color. Why is it a different color? Does that mean there's somebody else in there? God damn it, I thought I was going to get him. I was supposed to be my first, my first arrest. I'm just going to have to wait till next year. God damn it. So, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not very pumped about it. And I had I had stuff I had to do today, but now I can't fucking drive. And I, I decided that I was just going to be like, you know what, fuck you. If you're going to tell me that I can't drive my car for a while unless I go and unload a shitload of money, which I'm, I don't know if I'm really going to, because I don't really know if it's worth doing or not. Like, my car is 21 years old. I mean, it's of legal age to, to drink. And so, what I'm thinking, uh, what I'm thinking is that, I mean, I've had my car since I was 15 years old, and it's been through three accidents already. The, the worth of the car at this point is maybe around like 1500 bucks if I'm lucky. Leave. I would say. Right now. Oh get god. Oh god. Go get your own Are there any cops around here? I need to. I need to go get this thing painted hey, again. I'm not. I'm not going to risk it. Where's that pay and spray at, Holmes? It's around here somewhere. Oh, guess what? There he is. All right, let's go down the road here. I'm pretty sure it's right over here somewhere. Where are you at? Where are you at, pay and spray? I don't remember where you are. Oh shit. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Where is this pay and spray at? Damn it! Come on. Yep. We're gonna take the uh, the alternate route. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. We might actually be able to hide over here for a minute. You know what? I don't know where that place. Ah! Okay. Or you can just turn me around the direction I want to go. I think. I want to say that that pay and spray is over here, but I'm not 100% positive. So, yeah, I just I don't know if I want to really dump an exorbitant amount of money in there to get it all fixed. I mean, it's kind of getting to a point where I should probably be looking at getting a different car sooner or later. So that'll probably be what I end up doing. But I had other stuff I wanted to do today. I actually, after I got done with this whole, you know, trip to that place... I was like, you know what, if you're going to tell me I can't drive my fucking car anymore, I'm at least going to go down to the arcade and get a beer. Not to mention that uh, I was actually uh, helping out a friend. Uh, he's starting up a little online magazine called TheBestSalem.com, which is just, you know, highlighting all the different, you know, best parts of the city that, that I live in for, you know, all the different culture-based things. And he actually wanted me to be uh, the first person to write uh, an article for his uh, for his magazine and he had me write a little piece on the coin jam which is the arcade that I that I'm always uh, talking about going to so because he know he knows that I'm that I'm a you know a real regular customer there he's like so it's like if you don't mind I'd love for you to write like a just a like a top five games at, at the coin jam piece if you have the available time for it and I was like sure fuck yeah that'd be awesome I mean I haven't written anything in a long ass time so my my writing skills are gonna be 
be pretty fucking rusty, but we'll see what happens. And so, I, uh, I actually, I, the thing just got published this morning, so what I'll do, oh, there's a cop. What I'll do is I will actually post a little link um, in the description of the video if you guys want to go check it out. Let me know what you think. I mean, it's, it's nothing crazy, like... It's just a little top five list that I just kind of threw together in like a in like a couple hours or so. So uh, it was it was cool though. I'm proud of it. It was it was a fun little thing to do. Oh shit! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hurry up and get it! God! Fucking a! These people are just so slow. We're getting there though. We're making good progress. I mean, we're only 17 deals away from uh, completion of the mission. Let's go back. Let's go back towards the beach here. If I can even get that way. So, yeah, dude, it was it was it was cool. But after that, I had to you know whip my car home and just kind of wallow in my sorrows. So instead, I decided to you know Maddie and I ended up going to Denny's and uh, I just unloaded my my anger in a fucking grand slam which which is an absolute piece of genius by the way the fucking sandwich with with like eggs um, like crumbled sausage cheese I think there might even be bacon in there and it's just a fucking sandwich of that and it's amazing I mean it's absolutely going to kill me someday all the cholesterol on that might as well have me just sign my death warrant no no no! No, you will not! Oh my god, that was way too close for comfort. Whew! I apologize if I yelled. <laughs> I, I, I really just don't want to have to start this mission all the way over again. From me being a fucking moron. Okay, so let's... Let's go down the alley here. I think we might be able to pick up that cop bribe. I wonder if it respawned. Uh, is it here? No. Maybe? Hello? Where are you, Mr. Policeman Bribe? I know you're here somewhere. Somewhere? Anywhere? Or is it down this alley? I forget. Maybe it's not even... It's gotta be down one of these alleys, because I'm, I'm on the right set of streets here. Here we go, I think it's in this area. Actually, there's not even any cops on me anymore. I don't even have to worry about it. Uh, and here we go. I know you want some, you old fucking degenerate lady, you. I know that you're all down for what I've got. <laughs> she actually, like, walks up to it. Can I get a couple scoops of ice cream? Fuck you, we don't have any ice cream in here. Does this look like an ice cream truck? Well, yeah, it does. I, I just want a little bit of ice cream. Well, guess what? Unless you want your ice cream loaded up with meth, then uh, you're probably not going to get it. I love how I'm automatically assuming it's going to be meth. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like cocaine. But then again, it could be a whole bunch of different things. All right, we're only ten away. Or we're nine away now. And guess what? You're fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I got a business up hold here, woman. Here we go. Here we go. Right here. No. Oh god. I'm getting. I'm getting real. I'm getting real. Uh, real uptight about this right now. We're so close. Of the group I think that's a cop right there, too. He sure is. And the harp in Peru. They're so oblivious. But hey, you know what? Ignorance is bliss sometimes. Oh, you. Oh, he doesn't want it. I figured that guy would totally be the one that wants it. Hey, do you have any... Do you have any... any can I get, like, eight scoops of ice cream? Do you want eight scoops of ice cream, or do you want eight scoops of... A solution so Air tag stupid, ice cream. Oh God, God! You're getting so close. It's so hard to succeed these days. I'm not going to let you ruin me, cops. You going down, clown? How y'all doing? Here we go. This will this will fix it all up. There we go. All right. So where? 
Where can we, uh, where can we go park? That guy's totally dead. Where can we park? Um, here we go. Oh, yeah, okay, so the guy that I was, uh, I forgot to tell you guys about this. This was actually really funny. So the guy that I wrote the article for, he actually, uh, he came down to the arcade so he could get a couple pictures of, uh, like, me on some pinball machines and whatever. And he's, but before we got the whole thing started, he was like, hey, um... <laughs> He's like, hey, do you uh, do you want to just play a couple of games before we actually like take the photos and, and stuff? I was like, sure, why not? So we played uh, we played uh, NBA Jam. It was pretty much like an NBA Jam clone. It was NBA on NBC, which is a hundred percent cooler, by the way. And uh, so we played that one, and um, I was the Blazers, obviously, because I'm a fucking Portland. Well, I'm not a Portland native, but the Blazers are my they're my jam. And uh, he was he was the uh, the Super Sonics. Bless their souls for being taken away. Absolutely. I don't like the Sonics at all, but you know what? When you get a team taken away from you because the fans weren't like passionate enough about keeping them around. That's fucking depressing. And so we're we're playing, and we uh, it was a pretty close game like the whole time, and it comes down to like the last fucking couple seconds, and the uh, the game is tied. There's there's like eight seconds to go, and I inbound the ball. And right as I inbound it, uh, he, his fucking, he fucking steals it from me, like, immediately. Okay. So we got 50 done, but nothing really came up. Do we have to sell more? I can't imagine we have to sell more. Like, I could have sworn the cutoff number was 50. Maybe we just have to go back to the, the place now. I guess we'll see what happens. Um, so we're playing. There's, like, just a few seconds left. And, uh, I was like, dude, somebody's gonna hit a game winner. I, I don't even know. And then as soon as he went up by two, I was like, oh, shit! And so I inbound it really quick, and I, I, I uh, end up just fucking, like, throwing up a prayer from, like, just inside half court, and I absolutely nailed it. And he's like, no! And it was super awesome. Like, I couldn't even believe it. I never hit shots like that. And I, I ended up actually pulling it off, and it was super tight. And then, uh, so he's like, he's like, all right, all right, I need, I need a rematch, I need a rematch. And so we played NFL Blitz, and uh, I was Green Bay, obviously, because they're my fucking favorite team. And uh, he was, I think he was like Miami, and he goes out, uh, he goes out on top like 13 to nothing, like really quick. And I slowly start crawling back. And I definitely had an interception that was physically and humanly impossible, where he threw the ball and I, I just, I dove at his player with my defensive lineman, and, uh, and he, like, deflected the ball with his head. Oh, there's another one here. Well, hold on just a damn, no, I need to, I need, no, no. Oh god, they're gonna, they're gonna shoot at me. This is bad, I don't need people shooting at me. No, no. Three of his brain cells okay, I got an idea. I really need to go and research this and see if 50 was the number. I could have sworn that it was, but because nothing came up telling me that my mission was completed before I, like, step out of the car to end the mission, I want to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. So we're going to park it over here, and I'm going to check on my desktop real quick. So let's, uh, let's just make sure here. But yeah, dude, it was, uh, it was fucking crazy. So... I end up intercepting the ball, like, with my head, even though I deflected the ball with his helmet and it just, like, flew out in the distance, but it said that I intercepted it. And we are both like, what the fuck just happened? Like, how does that even work? Um, let's see. Where is the one that I'm thinking? Yeah, it says, after 50 is sold, the mission's complete. So, let's just get out of the car, I guess? Yeah! All right, we got it. Yeah! Ice cream asset complete. How much is it gonna? Is it gonna three thousand? Okay. Oh shit! We gotta go collect our money. Oh my god! This is gonna be good. Sweet. Yeah. All right. This is what's up. I mean, I actually don't know if we made any money out of that. Now that I think about it, did we even make money from this? Because I don't feel like we did. Like we. I mean, we made money from the fifty people that we. Uh, from the 50 people we made deals to, but because I had to go to the pay and spray a couple of times, I don't know if we actually really made money out of that. Well, that's a bummer, if that's the case. Oh well. I know we'll be able to make a nice little chunk of cash here pretty quick, just by going to the Printworks and Sunshine Autos. Uh, that'll be 
two of them that we can go uh, get our filthy mitts on real fast here. What was this? 8,000? Yeah, 8,000 there, and then uh, 9,000 over here at this other joint. And that'll be pretty sweet. But, okay, so it comes down that he ends up... I end up taking the lead on him, 14 to 13. And it was in the fourth quarter. And uh, he ends up taking the lead on me. He, he uh, scores a touchdown. He goes for two, and he doesn't get it. So he's only up by five, but there's like 20 seconds left. And so... Um, I get the ball and I, I end up getting to like the 30 yard line or something like that and I do I do like a Hail Mary play and I end up uh, getting down to like the th like the 30 yard line or something like that and there's only five seconds left and so it's the last play of the game and uh, I dial up a play that's usually my bread and butter but he's been stopping it the whole day and so I, uh, I go, I drop out of the pocket, and I, I run backwards, and I target the guy that's running in the middle of the field. He like, and he just like cuts toward the towards the sideline real quick. And I do like this little pass that you can do that kind of gives you a little bit of an edge. And I, I jump backwards, and I just launch it up in the air, so it gets a little bit more more air to it. And I just fucking launch it up there as just as high as I can as I can toss it, and I absolutely just nailed it right on the money. And it was, he was really well covered, but his guy, um, his guy just barely missed uh, intercepting it, and my guy caught it and ran three yards into the end zone, and I was just like, yeah, I did it again! And he's just like, no, come on! What kind of bullshit luck is this? This is so unfair! <laughs> I was like, I was like, dude, I can't, I literally have nothing to say. Like, I've never had this kind of luck before in these games like never I never am able to pull this type of stuff off and uh, dude it was too hilarious I was I was down with it okay so those boats are finally here now is there a place to save here yeah there is okay so here's what's up ladies and gentlemen we finally got that distribution mission done without getting arrested too narrowly I mean we, we almost got it twice in the butt so when we come back next time on let's play some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City we're going to go jump in those boats because they're fucking here now. So we'll see uh, what we can do with that. Because I think that there is like a... There's, I think there's like one mission that we can do with that. So when we come back, we're going to check that out. And then hopefully we'll have enough money to go and buy another, uh, another place to do some asset stuff with. So, my friend, this is AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Somebody's car is going to blow up.